Day three in Kenya was one of attrition, kicking off with the brutal 29 kilometer soy sambu stage, which didn't wait long to claim its first victim. First hit trouble was Hyundai's Oitanak, forced to stop due to a loose bonnet pin. And next to fall will be Gregoire Munster, the M Sport driver with serious rear suspension damage after hitting a rock hidden in a bush and forced to retire before the start of stage nine. Basically, we, we bent uh, most of the arms uh, and broke one. We wanted to change the broken one, but uh, as everything was bent, it was impossible to put it back into place. Um, and we needed a full TCA, which uh, we didn't carry as well. So, uh, so yeah, it was game over. And championship challenger Elman Evans' bad luck from Friday continued into day three as he suffered yet another puncture, causing him to stop mid-stage and change the damage time. Seemed to have a real left puncture. We, we got the alarm, but didn't really feel anything in the first instance. But sure enough, it was, and uh, it was too long to, to try and drive it out. Things weren't getting better for Tanak. Intercom issues on stage nine, forcing the Estonian duo to rely on hand signals through the tricky 15 kilometers of Elementator. But incredibly, they only lost 15 seconds to teammate Thierry Nerville's stage winning time, a testament to their communication skills. Just think, thumbs up, so it's all flat, so easy. We had already an issue at the last, uh, last stage, just stopped before the start, so yeah, we went without, but not okay. It's quite eventful day, to be quite busy so far. Tire troubles continued on one of the toughest days of the season. The incredible 36 kilometer sleeping warrior stage, seeing no fewer than four Rally One cars running into trouble, with Esapeka Lappi, Tanak, Katsuta, and once more, the unfortunate Evans. Katsuta, who had started the day in second, dropped nearly 90 seconds, falling behind Nerville in the overall standings. Yeah, puncture, that's it. I hit the big one. It's very lottery, everywhere locks. But Nerville's ascent to second place didn't last long. A fuel pump issue on stage 11 saw the Belgian duo lose significant time. Nothing to say. Absolutely nothing to say. Evans' third puncture of the day came on stage 12 before yet another in the following test, causing the Welshman to clip a large rock and stop to replace a wheel. That'll be a puncture again. And the Hyundai duo of Lappi and Tanek also hit trouble in the afternoon loop. A loose window saw Tanak's car fill with dust on Soy Sambu 2, before Lappi suffered a damaged windscreen on the day's final test, losing over 10 minutes due to his impaired vision. Unaffected out front, Kalarov and Pera, who leads heading into the final day, two minutes clear of Katsuta and Adrian Formo a further minute back. Incredibly, Evans survived the day in fourth, ahead of Nerville. WRC2 leader Gus Greensmith and Tanak eventually recovering to 10th overall. Oh.